Winter has come, the wall is fucked, Westeros seems to be on the brink of doom, and so we are going to play What Do You Meme, the Game of Thrones expansion. What Do You Meme is a game where you come up with memes that fit with certain images, and those images tonight will be from the HBO series Game of Thrones. And right now, I would like you to hand out a series of beers to us. There are two seasons of beers right here from Game of Thrones, the actual show itself. We've got the Game of Thrones Queen of the Seven Kingdoms, Sour Blonde Ale Blend, mm. the Game of Thrones Mother of Dragons, Smoked Porter and Creek Ale Blend. I think I'd like to try the Porter. How much did you pay for these, guys? Did you pay the iron price? All right, I'm trying that Porter. Me Ooh. too. Mm. Oh, that's not very sour at all. It's actually quite good. It is really tasty. This is super sour. <laughs> Maybe they put them in the wrong bottles. Pretty, it tastes like sour cherries. Emery's gonna take off his clothes at the end of the night and do a special beer and board games walk of shame for all of us. How do we decide who goes first? Well, according to the rule book, uh, it's whoever has the most Instagram followers. I have zero followers. <laughs> <laughs> I have 1,889 followers. Six, two, 44. Boy, you're really jacked up about this yeah. little contest we just Dominated had. you on Instagram! It's the only time you're gonna win tonight. If you consider the rules from the game Spades, I basically shot the moon in terms of Instagram followers, so I kind of won. I played Spades in jail once. <laughs> I got a new rule for judging games. After every turn, you can burn as many cards as you want from your hand. After every turn. Well, so you always have a fresh hand, and you don't get stuck with cards that you never play. Okay. It's Sansa. Sansa looking shocked. Resting Sansa face. When you're watching Chopped and the chef decides to make a vinaigrette with less than a minute left. When the Girls Gone Wild commercial comes on. That's an old reference. <laughs> <laughs> when you're about to nut, but the porn video's plot thickens. <laughs> That's the one. Yeah. <laughs> this is definitely an about to nut face. Yep. <laughs> My lord, I am about to nut. That face you make right before you jump with Theon off the castle. Theon Redbone? Theon Redbone. My name is Reek. <laughs> I cut my nuts off. <laughs> the Khaleesi. Was that pre-Mother of Dragons? I don't know, but it, to me, it still looks like she's about to nut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got some good ones. Smack him, yak him. When you get to the party and immediately have to shit. That is pretty good. When you start telling your parents a story and then remember what happened was illegal. When your mom adds you on Snapchat, have to shit. You didn't even finish the card. <laughs> Come on, so, bad judge. I'm a good judge. I'm the kind of judge where if you're found guilty, you get thrown out of that hole in the sky. That's the kind of judge I am. You know, Brandon once judged in prison. I did. He was judged. He was judged guilty. <laughs> he was sent to prison. My outfit was too small. They made fun of me. Really? Your prison outfit? At first. How many people called you new fish? No, zero. Oh, good. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. I got Waldo and Harry Potter. When you see someone bite into a string cheese. What? Because string cheese should be peeled, you sir. Pull, pull it off. Okay, I get it. <laughs> when it's the first day of spring break and you got your period. <laughs> <laughs> when your grandma walks in on you jerking off. And the winner is when it's the first day of spring break uh, and you got your period. Yep. Yeah. Mmm. 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 It's a beardless Emery mating call. I'm just discarding my whole hand every turn. <laughs> I know. So am I. We'll go with the old Night King for this one. When you get money, but still don't fuck bitches. Oh yeah, I can see that, yep. When you're not mad, just disappointed. When your ex asks how you've been lately. I'm gonna go with Matt's when you're not mad, just disappointed. <laughs> 
Ned. Ned Stark. Yeah. One does not simply return from the dead to appear in the final season of Game of Thrones. <laughs> when you sneeze and nobody says bless you, derp. <coughs> when you say something funny and nobody hears it and then someone else repeats it and everyone laughs, blurp. <laughs> <laughs> when she calls your penis cute, the winner. Yay! <laughs> Got some clappers. When you find 11 McNuggets in your 10-piece meal. <laughs> When your black friend calls you the N-word for the first time. When you nut, but she keeps sucking. <laughs> I have to go with that. Yes! Damn it! It wouldn't matter what the image was. McNuggets should have won. When you McNugget, but she keeps sucking. He said he's not calling you guys at 701. <laughs> John Lovitz fucked us over. No, John Lovitz is sitting at his house going, I think I'll make them wait. <laughs> it's time for us to play a brand new game from the mind of Andy Breckman. It's a game called Little Diablo. And it's got the voice of John Lovitz. So we're going to let Brandon test drive this and uh, see what happens. So it's just like Simon. You know what Simon is, right? Yeah, Brandon? It, uh, half a girlfriend. Sound and, and uh, no. And the silence, the sound of the silence. He's going to try to distract you. He's so cute. Ready? Mm -hmm. And by the way, there's no way to shut it off. And I hope you don't have a good relationship with your mother. Are you ready for little Diablo? I am. <laughs> Concentrate. Don't screw this up. <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> you suck. You want to shoot me, don't you? There's only one problem with your fate. Pinch hitting for Brandon, it's Matt Sloan. Here he goes. Oh, I forgot to mention, I'm fucking your mother. <laughs> I, I am unshutstoppable. I don't have an off switch, just like you don't have a smart switch. You should need a light to be that ugly. If you didn't have ears, you'd look like my penis. You're embarrassed to yourself. Too bad there's no... <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Fuck you. God damn it, that's, that's the worst. worst. You're a whole new dimension of stupid. If ignorance for bliss, you'd be having orgasms all day. Did you read the box? I am unshut upable. This is level 10. Don't screw this up. I got it. Last I got level. it. Last I got level. it. <laughs> Thank you, Kickstarter, for introducing me to this idiot. Oh my god, I'm sweating all over the place. Okay, you beat me. I'll get my revenge when I see you in hell. <laughs> <laughs> you suck. Go to the Kickstarter right now. You can pledge. You can get your own copy of Little Diablo and torment your friends with it. How did the bottle opener? How did the bottle opener? I'm Dave Matthews fan. Tiny hey, version. You hit it. He killed me. He slipped me. And then? then I nubbed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, wait, it's Andy Breckman. Let's see what he says. Maybe John can't call us. Hello? He has not called yet. That's fine. That's fine. Whenever he wakes up from the nap will work for us. Hello, Andy Breckman. Hey, is that Matt? Yes, it is. Hey, man. How are you? I'm I miss you guys very much. Thank you. We had a lot of fun playing your game, Little Diablo. Which one of you guys beat it finally? Uh, Aaron did, but he's been playing it all week. <laughs> <laughs> so Mr. Lovitz is napping. I said, don't forget about your call tomorrow. He said, I won't forget. I won't forget. He's looking forward to it. Then he just added, as he was hanging up, he said, you know, I might take a nap. <laughs> and then there was a click. The yeah, click was his phone was hitting the floor. <laughs> if this goes well, breaking games is thinking about making a whole load of these unshutoppable games. You know, there could be a rap star. Snoop Dogg will do anything. I think the call would go like this. Hello, Snoop Dogg. And then he would say, I'm on my way. <laughs> okay, guys. That would be great. Thanks again. Right. Good hearing from you, Andy. Okay, thanks, Andy. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> hey, one try. I think I'll nap first. <laughs> Click. I, nap. I don't want to talk to the beer and board games boys when I'm not refreshed. <laughs> when you show someone a post you laughed really hard at and they don't laugh. When you lay down for a quick nap and wake up eight hours later. Oh, I forgot to make that call. <laughs> it's a trick. Wait, was that what it was? 
It's, no, it stinks. It stinks. <laughs> it's a trick. <laughs> I wonder what John Lovitz is dreaming about right now. It's a trick. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time for a visit from our good friend, rapper, Egotistical Sniff. I want to see if he sells any more air blooms. Yo, what up? Why are you so quiet? I'm just playing. Oh, oh my God, I was worried you My were... name is Egotistical Sniff. I'm 32 years old, and I'm a straight-up virgin. Me too? Uh, I'm 32. Now, um, why did you feel ne necessary? Because I do not want to give up my chastity. Oh! Not until I meet the right lady, a fly girlfriend of any race or color, because I'm not prejudiced. That is very noble of you. That is straight up noble! Uh, egotistical sniz. Um, <laughs> what do you. No, it's sniff. Sniff. What up, angry chingery? <laughs> I go watch Game Society players all the time. Yeah! You sound like Chingy, the rapper who sings a song called Right There. Right There? That's such a great rap song, I love it. What's your question, Amber Chingy? What do you think about Cardi B? I love her. Have you ever hung out with her before? I've never hung out with anyone, really. <laughs> <laughs> I spend most of my time alone, what about, writing them joints. What about that old man that bought one of your albums? That kindly old man, he came yeah. back, he bought another one I sold for. Wow. I, that's what I was hoping to hear from you, honestly. Just, he, he said that his grandson would like it because he likes urban music. <laughs> I hear you a musician. Well... I'm I, also a part-time inmate. I do support. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got to go home. I got to take a nap. Later, homie. Later, homie. Yeah. Ah, that was a nice nap. What's on Hulu? <laughs> Wait, where's your phone? Yeah, you need to keep that close at hand. He's not calling. <laughs> <laughs> we got duped. <laughs> It was a trick! It was a trick! <laughs> if he doesn't call, I say that when we put up the graphic for Andy Breckman's Kickstarter, we have it linked to someone else's Kickstarter. <laughs> Dolphrey B! When your tampon string makes its way into your butthole. I believe that says booty hole. Boot, booty hole. When you bleach your asshole and start demanding more respect around here. <laughs> when you're mad at someone, but then they ask if you want some food. <laughs> I go with tampon string makes it way into your booty hole. Oh, come on. Count up your points. Three. Three. Four. Five. Yeah. Basically, you said the f shh, Oh, what? Shh, oh. Shh, shh, shh. Uh, hello, beer and board games. Oh, it's John Lovitz. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my phone was uh, shut off. Little devil doll wrecked my phone. How was your so nap? I was at the Apple Store and they turned it back on. Oh, you were at the Apple Store napping? I heard you just were napping. Nap. Not nap. No, my phone shut off. <laughs> we were told you were <laughs> napping. <laughs> you can't lie to us, John Lovitz. I didn't lie. He lied. Oh, he lied. <laughs> It's great to, to meet you, Mr. Lovitz. Uh, we're all big fans. Thank you. We played your game, Little Diablo. What do you think? Uh, you were you were you spoke very meanly to us. Did it drive you nuts? A little nuts. It drives me nuts, and it's me. Uh, I can understand That's that. That's how annoying it is. It's uh, a perfect toy for people you hate. <laughs> <laughs> we heard a lot of the different insults. Were there any insults that were left on the cutting room floor that didn't make it in? No, I mean, there was stuff Andy wanted, but it was too dirty. <laughs> you drew the line. That's that's good. Yes. I don't remember what they were, but I could make up some now. Yeah, what would Andy want you to say? Hey, do you think your balls are small? I mean, those two peas hiding behind your clit? <laughs> <laughs> that's reprehensible. I, I really. Right. Well, that's why I didn't say it. I can't. I can't believe Andy would want that. Oh yeah, he wanted way worse <laughs> stuff about the mother and she's got diseases. I don't want to say your mother's a whore, but she overcharges. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys like it? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I didn't even get mad when you said those things about my mother. Well, of course not. I don't even know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> I hope by the end of this conversation that you do. Don't you feel like you're talking to a doll now? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a Twilight Zone. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a good line for the doll. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot. My car. There's a lot going on, John. <laughs> I'm trying to talk to you and back it up. 
<laughs> your, your car is heckling you yeah, right now. Please be safe. I will. It's just you have to bear with me. I had to go to the Apple store. <laughs> I didn't call you. Now I'm getting, trying to get out of this mall. I know why you're laughing, because you played that doll, and you just think, like, I'm just a doll now. <laughs> it's been quite the career. Saturday Night Live, movies with Tom Hanks, and now I'm just the voice of a doll. It's just going up. I feel lucky that he, that Andy asked me to do it. You know, he could have asked a lot of people, but he asked me, because apparently I have a distinctive way of talking. <laughs> Certainly. I don't know what it is. We were all trying to do our best John Lovitz impressions. Well, the way to do it is, like, say you're annoyed with somebody, you don't hide it. All right, well, that... Then... Don't they go, do you want to do, do something tonight? No! <laughs> I think you've changed my life today, John Lovitz. I was a drama major in college at UC Irvine, oh. and I had a great t teacher, William Needles, a Todd Shakespeare. And I said, and he was a great actor from Canada. I said, do you think I could be an actor? And he said, well, I think you have everything going for you except your voice. Oh, no. Wow. So then I was doing a show in Canada, and he was there, and I reminded him of it on stage. <laughs> <laughs> My voice is the very thing that gets me work. <laughs> a lot of times I do movies, and I'll just want to, like, play it straight. And they go, no, no, do that thing you do. So you've just been to the Apple Store. You're in the car now. Uh, what's next? With my what, dog. With your dog, whose name is? Jerry Bruckheimer the <laughs> Third. <laughs> Did you have two before that? Well, there was the cat. The, he was the second, but he passed away. And then Jerry Bruckheimer, the producer, of course, he's the first. Oh, sure. Oh, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So then I got this rescue dog. They think he's a chug, a pug chihuahua, but he's actually a teacup great dane. <laughs> okay. Are you headed home now? Or are you going off to a different uh, store? Or I'm headed home. Okay. Oh, another personal thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't mean Am to I pry. Am I under my underwear? <laughs> <laughs> it's a great honor talking to you. You were my favorite character in Happiness. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. It was supposed to be a dark comedy, and it just ended up being kind of just sick. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I have a question for you guys. How do you think this doll will do? Do you like it? It's a game, too, you know? It's not just a doll. No. <laughs> I see it as a game first and a doll second. You give it to somebody you just hate. <laughs> you just go, here you go, buddy. That's the beauty of it is I'm driving your friends nuts for you. And you don't have to do anything. That's the ticket. <laughs> That's the ticket. That's the event. And it's very profane. Yes. But when I say things like I'm, you know... Fucking my mother. Fucking your mother. <laughs> you have to remember that it's not me, it's the doll. I'm not sure that would hold up in court. <laughs> I think we could do it in every language. You know? Could you do it in every language? Well, of course. <laughs> well, French. What, what's Je the... suis avec votre mère. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds so much more romantic yeah. that way. <laughs> Mangez-moi. That's you're an idiot. Eat me. <laughs> Do you know how to say your balls look like tiny peas behind your clit? Votre bite est très petite. <laughs> your dick is very small. You're just shocked I'm speaking French. I wouldn't say shocked. Delighted. Delighted. Yes, oh. Well, I'm not just an idiot. I'm an educated <laughs> Well, you're speaking to a table of educated idiots, so it's totally appropriate. And how game compared to the other ones that you've reviewed? It's better than all of them. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a high rating. Oh, yes. We're already heading to our phones to go on Yelp. <laughs> to her. It was wonderful talking to you. It was great meeting you. Um, we wish you all the best naps. And I wasn't napping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry Andy Breckman misled us. Even if I it wouldn't have mattered. My phone was off. <laughs> so I'm, I might as well have been napping. Thank you for having me on your show. I know you're trying to wrap it up. <laughs> you're trying to be like the doll. Go ahead. We, try to wrap it up. We can't shut him off. <laughs> and another thing. <laughs> Well, thank you. I appreciate it. The best of luck with dealing with Andy. 
Breckman <laughs> in future endeavors? He's the only comedy writer I know that's actually funny. No, it's true. They're not funny. You tell them a joke, they go, yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> so, John, you're actually the second SNL cast member to appear on our channel. Second? <laughs> <laughs> a couple of years ago, we did a video with uh, your fellow cast member, Kevin Nealon. Now, Kevin is very funny, very dry. He used to say, Dan, now you do that big, obvious comedy. You were, and he, I do the subtle stuff. Yeah, I go, yeah, we're doing the stuff where everyone's laughing really loud and hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I can't do that smirk shit. No, Kevin's very funny, though. He's very nice. Where are you guys, anyway? We're in Madison, Wisconsin. Oh, my God. No wonder you have so much time to talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Los Angeles, but I don't have a life. What's your excuse? All right, well, it's been great talking to you, John. Um... <laughs> Thank you. All right, bye. Bye-bye. See ya. I wasn't napping. <laughs>told, I still don't know what Instagram is. You just put funny filters on your face? That's fa Snapchat or Facebook. Just photos. You just take photos of yourself. Take photos of your... What a bunch of narcissistic bullshit. Yeah. Yep.